Hey, it's me again. And today is officially my first day of doing this whole process. So what I'm doing today, or what I did today, was do some goals. And what I like to do is, since I like sunflowers, you know, you find what you like. Like I said, I like journals. So I bought a journal with sunflowers on it. Well, you know, my sunflower tattoo. And I just wrote my goals in there. Like my first goal is going to be to be able to just walk to the greenway, right? Actually walk around the house without my cane, without getting tired. And you know, small goals like that I think are great. We have to celebrate the little things and that's what I'm learning to do, celebrate the little things like being able to walk around the house without a cane. Just like when I was in the hospital, being able to use the bathroom by myself, you know? That was a huge day for me. And what also helped when I was in the hospital was having my hair twisted, having my nails done. I mean, of course I didn't know I was going to the hospital, but it helped because I felt like a real person then. You know, you're just kind of rolling around, doing this, doing that, feeling like blah. So it helped to see that my hair was twisted, my nails were done, and I had my husband bring my lotion with me, you know, bring my lotion to the hospital so that helped so I could smell good and just try to do whatever I could do to feel like a person, you know. Being able to take a shower is such a small thing, but it was huge for me. So I was able to take a shower and that was great. And even at home taking showers, you know, being able to stand up to take a shower would be great, but now I still sit and it's totally fine. But what I do in there is just like, I have body scrubs, you know, you just wanna do the little things, like I said, to make yourself feel good. It doesn't have to be anything huge, you know, regardless of what you're dealing with, you just wanna do something to make yourself smell good, feel good, whatever you need to do for that day. And that's what I'm trying to remember. And like I said, this is gonna be, I'm not gonna get on here every day and be like, oh man, today was so great. Because after that video I posted yesterday, the first video explaining my process and why I'm doing this, I did not want to post it. And seeing those pictures of myself and how I used to look really, I felt down after that, man. I was just looking at those pictures with the stuff, dude. But, <laughs> I can't stay down, you know. I have to remember that's why I'm doing this. And that's why I did it for a year. Because in a year, so much can happen. You know, in a week, so much can happen. So every week, I will be weighing myself and trying to see progress, working on little things like that, and the progress I want to see is just like, you know, one pound a week even, one to two pounds a week, you know, that's a healthy weight loss, and that means I'm doing something that's gonna, that I can continue doing, so you want to do something that you can continue doing after this year is up, you know, it's a lifestyle change, and do this forever, and whatever it is, you know, we can hold each other accountable, so <laughs> making these videos is going to hold me accountable for sticking to what I have going on, you know, and even in a year, say in a week, you have a bad day, right? On Tuesday, you find yourself, whatever's happening, and you're falling back into old habits. You can't say stuff like, oh, well, I'll restart next Monday. People always want to restart on a Monday. It's like, nope, you will restart on Wednesday. It's fine. You fall off on Tuesday, and you get right back up on Wednesday, so that's the plan. And have a day during the week that you're just gonna just chill out and not think about any of this, you know. <laughs> For me, it'll be football Saturday, go dogs. And so that would be my day, is just chill. And I don't want this to be stressful anyway. And like I said, the majority of it is mental. It's being able to accept myself for who I am and like I said, celebrate the small things, write down my goals. But on those bad days, it will just be, you know, they're not terrible days, but I just have to be patient with myself. And that's it, is patience. I don't have patience. I don't have patience when I drive. I don't have patience for adults. I have patience for children. But once you get to be an adult, no patience. And not even a full adult. I think I lose patience for children when they're in middle school. They become little jerks. But anyway, <laughs> middle school kids are jerks. I don't know who came up with middle schools, but they are a bunch of jerks, you know? I think if you keep it K through seven, the seventh graders are like, okay, I have to be mature because I'm at the top of the school and the sixth graders are trying to be like the seventh graders, but it's positive. And then you have eight through 12 and the eighth graders are the youngest in the school. So, you know, they don't act like a bunch of jackasses. So, but when you put all those kids together, they don't know how to act. They don't know how to act. So I don't know who came up with that. But anyway, patience, that's what I don't have. <laughs> patience, so patience with myself, you know? Patience with everything. It's like I have on my little outfit and this sweatshirt. 
I've, I bought this actually at Lululemon. It's funny. I don't know if you can still see the little yoga print on there. Probably not, but these people came in and they were selling these and it's so soft and it's amazing that it still fits this body. But I think the majority of clothes that are stretchy like this fit and look interesting. I mean, I have to pull my pants up really high so my stomach isn't like hanging over too much. And that's the thing getting used to. It's just the stomach, you know? It's not just the stomach. It's the legs, the back, it's the arms. It's like, how do how am I supposed to wash my back or move around in this body? It's just like, whoa. But nope. See, it's so easy to fall back into that feeling of blah. So, you know, that's what I'm trying to work on. And we're going to work on it together. So what is that? Goals. We're going to work on goals. And just like I said, have some small goals. Start, start small. Break the big goal at the top and then just kind of work your way down. Like you want to have giant goals. Like my biggest goal would be when I turn 50, I want a six pack, right? Why not? You know, why not? Jada Pinkett Smith and her mom, man, they look great. So they don't, I'm not going to just let them be the only 50 year olds with a six pack. So I'll even take a four pack. Probably take a two pack at this point. So yeah. That's my biggest goal. I mean, you know, it's such a superficial goal, I know, but it's also to mentally be, by that time, I will be where I need to be mentally. And I would have dealt with all this, you know, patience when I have MS flare ups. Hopefully, there won't be that many. And it's something I can't control. So that's the thing, too, is giving up that control as far as MS and just trying to do what I can do. And hopefully, though, I don't fall back into this cycle of month after month after month of steroids. So, so goals. Get something fun to write them in. I also like to buy a really nice pen. So I spent too much money on a fountain pen that I don't really like that much. But goals are great. And like I said, celebrate the little things, you know. Celebrate the little things and do something nice for yourself. People are always saying, you know, like, treat yourself, which is true. So like, get your nails done. I get my nails done. Don't look in the brand now. I'm going to get them done the day before Georgia plays Clemson, and then I'll be like, look at my nails. I mean, yeah, they need to be redone now, but I am not ready to go to the nail shop yet. So my appointment is on September 3rd, day before the game. So yeah, little stuff like that. And God's gift, get your nails done too, you know? Get a color, who cares? If people have something to say, I mean, if it's older people, like, you know, saying, oh, that's okay, okay, I understand. You don't have to argue with them because it's hard to argue with old people, man. They don't, they don't listen. They never change their mind. Not old, just older, older than us, than me. And then if someone your age, of course, you can ignore them. I always tell people, don't accept criticism from someone you would never accept their advice, you know? So who cares what people think? Who cares what people think? I mean, I don't know. I don't really care. I definitely don't care what people think. I just care what I think, so. And that's what's important is what we think about ourselves. And what I think about myself is, you know, it's getting better. I mean, like I said, I'm going to have bad days. I'm not going to get on here and be like, oh my gosh, today was great. Not every day anyway, but there will be some good days, you know, and today was a good day. <laughs> it was a good day. Like I said, after the video last night, it was tough, but I made it through. I picked myself up. I wasn't even going to post it, but I did. And yeah, I'm just trying to move forward. You see my workout stuff back there? I have a ton of workout stuff in this room. This is like the workout room that... I will not be using it, and that's fine, you know? <laughs> when I was in the hospital, and I would see commercials of people working out. I'm like, shut up. I care about you on that damn Peloton or working out in that mirror thing from Lululemon. I care about you working out. <laughs> it's like, so? <sighs> but I'll be able to work out again, you know? And it's just not, <laughs> it's just that. Like, I'm not hating on people I see jog outside or anything like that or anybody working out. I was just in the hospital bed, tired of seeing people exercising on TV, you know? Show me some better commercials, or zero commercials. But yeah, so hopefully <laughs> I've said something useful today, but like I said, this is as much, as much for me as it is for anybody else, so I will try to just talk about what I'm doing and, you know, just start being healthy mentally. We have to be healthy mentally first, then physically that will come because once we get our heads together, then, you know, our bodies will release the proper hormones to do what it needs to do. So, yeah, that is all I have to say today. So, hopefully you like this and you will subscribe to my page. But if not, whatever. Send it to somebody who will like it then. Bye.